Once upon a time, I was a liberal. Well, to be honest, less than a year ago, I was still a liberal. I became a liberal because I felt I had found a tribe whose values aligned with my own. I staunchly reject racism of any kind. I reject the marginalization of any human being based off of their gender or sexual orientation. I reject tyrannical groupthink. I reject a system which allows an ambitious, misinformed, and dogmatic mob to suppress free speech, create false narratives, and apathetically steamroll over the truth. I reject the acceptance of junk science and superstition to advance ideological agendas. I reject hate. These are the reasons why I became a liberal. And these are the same reasons why I am now walking away. For years now, I have watched as the left has devolved into intolerant, inflexible, illogical, hateful, misguided, ill-informed, un-American, hypocritical, menacing, callous, ignorant, narrow-minded, and at times, blatantly fascistic behavior and rhetoric. Liberalism has been co-opted and absorbed by the very characteristics it claims to fight against. For years now, I have watched as people on the left have become anesthetized to their own prejudices and bigotry, and the prejudices and bigotry of those around them who echo their values. I have watched as formerly sensible people who claim to reject racism have come to embrace the principles of universally hating and blaming all of society's problems on all people who have white skin. I have witnessed the irony of advocacy for gender equality morph into blatant hatred and intolerance of men and masculinity. I have seen the once earnest fight for equality for the LGBT community mutate into an illogical demonization of heteronormativity and the push to vilify and attack our conventional concepts of gender. These same self-proclaimed victims of intolerance now turning on the gay community that they attached themselves to to advance their agenda, now calling gay people privileged and themselves victims of injustice. I have watched as the left has allowed themselves to become hypnotized by false narratives and conclusions perpetuated by social justice warriors who misrepresent and misconstrue facts, evidence, and events to confirm their own biases that everyone who does not comply with their prejudicial conclusions and follow their orders is a racist, a bigot, a Nazi, a white supremacist, homophobic, Islamophobic, xenophobic, misogynistic, and alt-right extremist. And I have watched as they have used these heartless and carelessly assigned labels to intimidate, threaten, bully, silence, attack, unemploy, blacklist, and destroy anybody who dares to fight back. They'll come for me, and then they'll come for you. And worst of all, the Democratic Party and the liberal media has embraced, affirmed, aided, and abetted this cult ideology. In an effort to gain voters and maintain power, the Democratic Party that I once loved has joined forces with the extremist left. The Democratic Party and the liberal media now believe their own ill-gotten conclusions and have ominously decided that they, and only they, know the remedy for society's ills. The left has decided that the solution to problems with race relations in America is more racism. The left believes that attacking, insulting, and dehumanizing one group of people elevates another. The left now believes that there are no boundaries when telling lies, omitting the truth, or misrepresenting facts when telling the news, because their end justifies their means. The left has now decided that its point of view is the only acceptable one, and that suppressing, censoring, and banning open dialogue and debate is virtuous and progressive. The Democratic Party has adopted a deleterious belief system, happily and without skepticism, separating people into groups based off of identity and then organizing them into camps of victims and oppressors. If you are a person of color, an LGBT person, a woman, or an American immigrant, the Democratic Party wants you to know that you are a victim and destined to stay that way. They will insist that you are a victim doomed to exist within a system that is rigged against you. That you are a victim of systemic oppression. That you are a victim of your circumstances and that no amount of hard work or motivational action will ever allow you to overcome your victimhood or the privilege of those around you. This is perhaps the Democratic Party's greatest and most insidious lie. But if you are a minority in America today, the left-wing politicians and the liberal media don't want you to ever discover this lie. So they bombard us with stories designed to reinforce the narrative that you are in danger, that you cannot succeed. They manipulate your fears and concerns by telling you that you are disadvantaged, disempowered, and disposable to everyone 
accept them. They will tell you that you need them. They will tell you that you are only safe under their supervision. They will promise to liberate you from all that chains you. And then they will do absolutely nothing for you. Once upon a time, I was a liberal. But liberalism has changed, and I will no longer be a part of an ideology or political party that represents everything that contradicts my values of unity, equal opportunity, personal empowerment, compassion, and love. So I am walking away, and I encourage all of you to do the same. Walk away.